resume our public session. Uh, we just uh, exited out of executive session. Uh, item number three, discussion decision regarding next steps in the union police negotiations process. Um, as we discussed in executive session, there really is nothing to discuss regarding that. Moving on to our open item updates. Uh, I did want to tell you guys, I sent you um, a piece of paper showing Lachat. The farmhouse on Lachat property now has a historic designation. It was submitted by Carol Baldwin. One of the things I did call uh, the state in check is to make sure that we're not limited in any way as to what we do with that house. Because I saw that and I said, well, if we still want to demolish this house, do we have the right to do so? Right. And we do. We, it doesn't really mean anything. What it does do is it does give us the opportunity to apply for additional grants. So I think that's a, a good Great. thing. Uh, I also wanted to say that we finally have all the permits done. We're going to be starting to work on that house uh, any day now. Um, and uh, we're moving forward. I did meet with the committee this week. And uh, they're very anxious to go ahead and get started. And we're working with planning and zoning to see if there's anything that they can do to get ready for the spring uh, while they're going through the process of having the engineer look at the property and getting the A2 survey in place. So we'll see what they have to come back with that. Um, you guys had asked for an update on the COG at every meeting. Right now, I have nothing new to report. We haven't met or anything since our last meeting. So everything is status quo. And then finally, I did want to update you on what's happening up in Hartford with the Moore Commission. Uh, as you know, I serve on the Board of Education subcommittee, and they're moving forward with uh, establishing a committee that will look at a common calendar and try to create that. I think there's a lot of positives for us in terms of being able to regionalize some professional training. Right now, all of the professional training, from what I understand, is being centered, well, a lot of the professional training is being centered around the new common core standards that the state's going towards. So if we can combine our teacher training with Wilton or Westport or another town, it really could save us some money. And is this being driven for financial reasons, or is it driven for, um, I, you know, what you just mentioned, that, this kind of, that it's easier to can combine services? What's the motivation to do it? Well, I don't, I'm not saying it's not a bad idea right, well, at all. Everything with the um, Moore Commission is, is eventually driven towards financial reasons. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look at the municipal opportunities portion of it and not strictly the regional efficiencies because we have to be careful there. One of the things that they're also considering is perhaps regionalizing special ed along the regional boundaries that the, the districts are currently in. This may be good, this may be bad. I don't know. I have to hear more information about it. If we're going to take kids who currently have to travel to New York to go to school and now we're going to be able to house them in a neighboring community so that their commute is less and that the school districts actually have a little bit more control over how those kids are educated, then it's great. But if we're doing something that's against what the parents' wishes are as a way to save money, then I really have a problem with that. So we have to look and see how, how that's going to sort out. They wanted to wait until after the elections before scheduling the next set of meetings because there were a lot of first selectmen and, and mayors on these commissions, so I should hear soon about that. The commission that I'm really concerned about with more is the one that's looking into the taxing structures um, because uh, Speaker of the House Sharkey, uh, again, has made it his top proposal to eliminate the car tax. And as we discussed last year, I, I think that it's um, the wrong move for the state. I think it takes money out of the municipality's hands and you're taking away a tax that people so currently have, yeah. don't mind paying and there's no way for the state to possibly make us whole. It's something like $8 million that the state would need to reimburse municipalities, and they have about a million in that pot to do so. So they're a wee bit short. So we'll have to see what goes on with that, but I'll definitely keep you in the loop as we move further. It's a short session. We don't start until February this year, but there's a lot of stuff happening ahead of time in anticipation of that. And that's really all I have for um, open items. Let me skip that before. Oh, that's because I'm looking at the old agenda. I'm sorry. We can get back to it. Okay, moving on, or moving back to uh, <laughs> item number four, request for property tax refunds. David? Unless Dennis would like. No, we're... I move to approve property tax refunds in the amount of $1,573.29 is listed on the November 7, 2013 Board of Selectmen agenda. Uh, second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Okay, is there any other business to come properly before this meeting? I thought you had something. 
Yeah, there was a follow-up. Uh, there was a follow-up email saying that because I'm still first selectman, we don't have to, we don't need the resolution. I was just able oh, okay. to, to sign it. Okay. That was for um, the regional grant that we get through our the emergency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's right. what it's for. Okay. Okay. Approval of the minutes. I move to. I move to approve the minutes of the special tri board meeting of September 25, 2013, and Board of Selectmen's meeting minutes of October 3 and October 17, 2013. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Uh, motion carries unanimously. May I have a motion to adjourn? Yep. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, guys.